The Devil to Pay is not a film that I'd heard of. I found it at random when I was browsing Amazon Prime. And I have to say I'm quite glad that I found it because it's good fun. It's not it's not perfect. There are times when it was quite slow. I felt like the narrative was lacking something. I can't quite put my finger on what it was. And despite that, I enjoyed it. This was released in 1930, directed by George Fitzmaurice and starring Ronald Coleman and Loretta Young. And I'll be honest, I'd not heard of any of the actors in this, but I will definitely be looking out for Ronald Coleman. His performance as our protagonist, Willie Hale, was just brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed him in this. And I think that's one of the main reasons why, despite the somewhat lack of plot, I did actually find this really enjoyable because as a character, he is so fascinating to watch. So I'll read the description from IMDb, which I think is the best way to describe it. And this says... Lovable rogue Willie Hale has frittered away another fortune in British East Africa, so he auctions off his belongings and returns to England. A little bit vague. He returns to England and he goes to the family home. No money. His father is, quite frankly, disappointed in him. And he begins to charm uh, this character called Dorothy. And Dorothy takes to him, but her father does not. And it's all about him trying to, I guess, win over her father's heart. But he's like, you know, he's cheeky. He's, he's, I guess, the ultimate lovable rogue, as the description says, a cheeky chappy. He just charms everybody. And he's such an engaging character to watch. I wasn't really emotionally invested in, you know, whether or not they'd get together or if if her father would change his mind or really anything like that but it was just good fun to watch and from start to finish I was kind of engaged in this character also the inclusion of the dog absolutely brilliant there is a very cute little dog in this and he's adorable he is so cute and you just need to look out for the dog because I love him and he has the most adorable little face Even without the dog, the film would be really good. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. As I said, I hadn't heard of it. I just wanted to watch something that was made in around the 30s or 40s. This one happened to be the first one that I found. And I'm glad I found it. Because The Devil to Pay is really quite enjoyable. 